This is a nice look. Just um, awesome. Look at this. This is in the wildlife loop at Castor State Park. You can feed the horse. Is this horse in it? Donkey. Donkey. So, Ranu and Arisha are feeding the donkey. It's awesome. Look at this. I'm gonna go to the side. There you go, one more is coming. Very nice. This is just awesome. You get to see some more life here. So Harisha is so excited. Rano, right here. So we're gonna go the other side. See if we can see some more donkeys. Look at this. It's coming to the road. Yeah. There you go. Very nice. They're like ponies. Oh my god, wait. It's the big ones, Aisha. There's more over there. Aisha. Very nice. Aisha, Farhan, can you take a picture? There, Arisha. He likes Arisha. She's following. Very nice. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go. Let's see more. Oh, look at this. There's a one over here. Okay, I know. I'm gonna. Look at this, Arisha and Farhan are feeding the donkey here. Go to the other side, Arisha. So, so I see, it's in the car, people are there. So, so this is, we are passing through the wildlife loop, Custer Park. Kids are having a blast here. I like that how it goes nearby your car. Very nice. We had such a great time at Custer State Park. If you are visiting South Dakota, make sure you visit this park, especially the wildlife loop. This was so fun. My kids, we all loved it. The donkey encounter was the best. It was just such a great treat for all families that was visiting at the time. We met a lot of great people there. We chatted, we had a great time. And uh, make sure you bring some carrots, donkey eat carrots, so you can actually feed them. And if you have kids, they're going to love that. This is just awesome. You get to see some more life here. If you thought the donkey encounter was fun, stay tuned to see one of the most breathtaking views from a hill along this loop that we discovered. It was truly a sight like no other. Now we are going up the hill. So, so beautiful we came from that road. Look at this. 
It's a beautiful nature. Now oh, take a look at this side. Yeah. How beautiful this is. Magnificent. Okay, then up. Let's see how far. Okay, I'm going to go. Look at the beautiful view, absolutely mesmerizing. We have never seen anything like it. It is truly breathtaking. Don't miss this small hill. It is an easy hike and so worth it. Next, we will guide you through visiting Custer State Park, starting at the visitor center and driving along the scenic right now, wildlife. We network. are here at Custer State Park visitor center. This is a beautiful afternoon. So this is the visitor center, a quick look around here. So right now we are over here. This one. And we're gonna take this this route, the wildlife loop road over here. It's gonna take all the way to over here. This is the buffalo corals, and uh, they say that there is another visitor center right over here. So we're gonna go there too, and there's the prairie trail. And all the way, we're gonna go to Custer. Yes. I think so. Okay. So over here, so once we 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 come here, that Buffalo, that yeah. new new yeah. visitor center, yeah. and from there, then we take another right. You take another right and come out. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And then yeah. go just here. Follow. Yeah. Just keep following this. Okay. Look in this area for okay. Bighorn sheep. Yeah. Bighorn sheep. Yeah. And then here you are. That's right. Custer. So yeah. I mean, the only place that we'll see more. Buffalo right, is over right here. Right now, they're, they're there. Okay. Uh, since it rained last night, there were about 600 of them even before that. Okay. Now, if they're down in the, there's a watering hole down there. So if they're down there, they were down there last night. I was personally stuck in. Okay. In a uh, buffalo jam for 45 minutes, and hoping the baby, the babies were running around the cars. And they're, they're not very graceful on the blacktop. Sure. One started sliding, I go, oh, this is going to end good. And it stopped, mom and dollar, and she went in, mom and dollar, and it was great. Awesome, thank you so much. Okay, really right. appreciate Enjoy it. Enjoy yourself. Thank you. It's beautiful, you can enjoy the ride. Okay. So this is where you, you pay. It is like $20 for seven days. So only credit cards only here. So this is how it's gonna look like over here. All right. And this is the parking lot. So it's a very nice facility. So far so good. Now we're gonna take the wildlife loop. So right now we're driving on the wildlife loop road. It starts just a couple of minutes after leaving the visitor center. Just take a left and you're on your way. The drive is absolutely stunning. So while we're driving, let me share some facts about Custer State Park. It's a massive state park covering over 71,000 acres of land. Here, you can spot some of the park's famous wildlife, such as bison, elk, deer, and wild donkeys. The wildlife loop is perfect for those wanting to see animals in their natural habitat.
Besides wildlife, Custer State Park offers plenty of activities such as hiking, fishing, camping, and horseback riding. The park was established in 1919 and was named after the nearby town of Custer, which is linked to the history of the Black Hills and the Gold Rush. The town of Custer is over 5,000 feet above sea level and is surrounded by beautiful mountains. We stayed there and we highly recommend it. The Wildlife Loop Road is an 18 mile scenic drive with stunning views from rolling hills to lush valleys. If you're in South Dakota, make sure to visit on a sunny day. It really enhances the pictures and the overall experience. The area around us is absolutely breathtaking. No matter where you look, it looks stunning. So there you have it our amazing journey through the wildlife loop at Custer State Park. We stopped over where the bisons were, but since we got there in the afternoon, they are already farther away. If you go earlier, you might catch them up close, maybe even crossing the road. We also saw some deer running around. It was fun watching them. We also took a quick hike up a hill and enjoy a beautiful view. It was breathtaking. Finally, we met the donkeys, got to pet them and even fed them. It was the perfect way to end our scenic drive.